Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Monday where every Monday I post a new video. In today's video, I am going to be doing a gnome based off one of my favorite TV shows around Christmas time. It's called A Christmas Movie and it's with the little boy that got his tongue stuck to the flagpole. Only we're going to do that in a gnome form. So today I am going to be showing you how I made my gnome with this tongue stuck to the flagpole. I'm going to turn my light off because I think you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So there's his little tongue stuck to the flagpole. So that's what we're going to be working on today. So what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need a wooden base. I've already got a wood base here and I have a hole drilled in it already. You're going to need a wooden dowel, and it all, de all depends on how tall you want your flagpole to be. Um, I went ahead and painted mine gray or silver, whichever color you want it to be. You're also going to be needing a styrofoam ball. I have a small one here that we're going to be using for the nose. You're going to be needing felt. I'm going to be using red and blue, or excuse me, red and gray. You're going to need scissors. You're going to be needing baby shower shoes. Um, you're going to be needing hot, um, hot glue and glue gun. You're going to be needing a little flag. I got mine at Walmart. It comes on a little stick, but I it comes on a stick just like this. But I took mine off because, well, I didn't need it. And you're going to be needing fake snow. Dollar Tree and you're going to be needing a flexible curl rod so yeah I am going to go ahead oh one more thing you're also going to be needing a styrofoam cone and this is what it looks like as you can see I've already went ahead and stuck my wooden dowel through the styrofoam cone that way it can be dry so I can go ahead and work with it and I don't have to leave you know I don't have to do this step on camera and I took a styrofoam ball cut it in half and glued that into place to make the head I've done this in a few of my videos so yeah um, and now we're gonna go ahead and turn the camera down so we can just get right into the video so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and take your flagpole and you're going to go ahead and you're going to stick that right down in here. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue down off in there. So I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue. And all this is going to do is to make my flagpole stick in here a little bit better. And I don't have to worry about it coming out. And we're going to stick that there. So we're going to grab our flagpole and we're just going to go ahead and stick that down off in here. And we're just going to set this to the side and let that, well, before we do anything else, we have our flagpole stuck in. And yes, it's going to be a little bit tall, so I'm going to have to adjust my camera a few times. So now that you have that on, you're going to go ahead and take your flag. And we're going to go ahead and glue our flag into place. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue right there where I want my flag to be. And we're just going to go ahead and glue this into place. And I'm just going to hold this here just like this for a minute. going to go ahead and put a little more hot glue. So now we have our flag. And I'm going to stick this to the side because we don't need it no more. Let that dry. So now I'm going to turn my camera back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring our little styrofoam man over. This is going to be the base of our gnome. Once again, he was a styrofoam cone. And what I did was, if you are familiar with styrofoam cones, I cut the round part off and stuck the legs in. So yeah, um, and now we're going to go ahead and dress our gnome. So 
I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready for that. So now um, we have our gnome body here. So what I'm going to do, I took a, a, a pants leg from an old pair of jeans for a toddler. And we're going to make him a pair of jeans with that. So what I do when I make mine is I just go ahead and just cut up the leg like this. Just like that. And now I, I just leave it open like that and I just take my glue and I just go ahead and put a layer of glue right down through here. And we're just going to push that down and let that dry and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Just put a thin layer of hot glue, push this down, let that dry. And we have ourselves a little pair of jeans for our gnome. So I'm going to go ahead and um, let this dry. And we're going to go ahead and put them on our gnome. So now we have our pants on our gnome. I am taking the sleeve of a shirt that I cut off. And we're just going to go ahead and pull this over his head. So now you got your shirt on your gnome and this is what it should look like. And now we're going to set this to the side so we can work on the shoe. And I have one of the shoes right here and I've done this in pretty much every single gnome video that I made where I am using the baby shower shoes and all we do is you take that, you put a little bit of hot glue around the base of the shoe you take your felt if y'all hear some banging I want to apologize in advance my husband is doing some work on the house on the siding of the house so that's what you hear sorry about that if you can hear it and now I'm just putting some uh, felt all the way around the shoe and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and um, pull this up and cover it and we're gonna go all the way up the shoe so we're gonna put some hot glue here and we're just gonna go ahead and close this seal this up just like this I'm gonna go ahead and close my door see if that would help so now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some hot glue right down in the base of the shoe and we're just gonna go ahead and push and pinch so just like this and then we're just gonna seal this here like this and we're gonna go ahead and pull this hold this just like this and then we're gonna put some hot glue right down off in the side of here just like this and then I am going to go ahead and pinch this like that and we're going to fold it and then we're going to so basically what we're doing is you're going to leave an opening and that's where we're going to stick his legs at so we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue there and we're just going to seal this so now we have two shoes and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead I'm gonna grab a glue stick and we're going to go ahead and squeeze some hot glue right down off in the inside of this shoe and you want to use a good amount just like that and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull the legs up a little bit and we're just gonna go ahead and take this and stick this right down off in here just like that and I'm just gonna go ahead and take the pants and pull it over and this is what you should look your should look like once you get his shoes glued on in place so just like this we're gonna set him to the side and let him dry so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna work on his hat and scarf so uh, since we have him in gray shoes we're gonna go ahead 
just like we did with this one here, we're going to go ahead and um, give him a gray scarf and um, a gray hat, and we're going to give him a red coat. So let's set him to the side. I'm going to grab my red. And basically what I'm going to do is just cut a little strip of the red. And then we're just going to bring our gnome back. And then we're just going to, this is going to be the coat. And I'm just going to see how this is going to look and see if I need to cut some off. And I do. So let's set him back over here. We're going to continue to let him dry. Hot glue doesn't take that long to dry. So we're just going to cut off like that. Bring our gnome back. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a little stretch just to stretch it out a little bit. That's the good thing about felt. It stretches really nicely. So I'm just going to give that a little tug. Bring our gnome back. And this is what we have. And we're just going to go ahead. And I'm just going to even things up a bit. And we're just going to go ahead and wrap this around so what we're going to do is you're just going to put a little bit of hot glue right down the middle just like that and then we're just going to take our gnome and we're just going to lay him right in that hot glue and all i'm doing now is just wrapping this around him this is going to be his coat so i'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue here we're going to pull it just like that. We're going to put a little more here just like that. We're going to hold this and we're going to let everything dry. And this is what we have so far. I'm going to set him to the side. We're going to go ahead. And we're going to work on his hat and his scarf. But before we do that, I grabbed, I got his little nose here. And I have a little piece of peach colored felt. And all we're going to do is wrap his nose in it. So here's the little piece of felt. It's a flesh color. And y'all see me do this several times. We're just going to put some hot glue right down. We're going to grab this. Put it right in the middle, and we're just going to go ahead and put some hot glue all the way around. And we're going to go ahead and pull this just like this. Pinch it. This is what we have, and I'm going to grab my scissors. And we're just going to cut off the extra. And then we're just going to glue this right on his face. If y'all, I'm just going to apologize again, y'all, for the banging. I hope y'all are really able to hear me. I told him what I was doing, but um, I don't know if he even listened, but obviously not. But it's fine. So here we have his nose, and we're just going to go ahead and put that right in the middle. So I'm just going to put a little hot glue here. Stick that right down on here. Put a little bit down through here. Hold that here. Let that dry a bit. Going to go ahead and put a little bit around here just to seal up everything be very careful not to burn your fingers I've done that so many times I can't even count them and now I'm just gonna pull it up in the back and put some hot glue right across the back to just 
clothes in the back of his coat which you don't have to do that part if you don't want to because he's going to be wearing a scarf anyways but yeah so this is what we should have so far okay so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your faux fur and I've done this in several videos where you just cut out a U shape and you make it as long as you want it to be and then we're just gonna go ahead I'm gonna lay him down and we're gonna go ahead and put his nose on or his beard on so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab some hot glue we're just gonna go ahead close this up like this and here his 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 little nose like that I'm gonna set him to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and bring the gray so we can work on his hat and his scarf so I'm just gonna cut off a piece and I'm just gonna go ahead and make it take it all the way down to the end and I'm gonna go ahead and hold this here and see about where I want how I want to wrap this kind of like that so here we're gonna put hot glue right around the base of his head you're gonna take your felt and you wanna put this right on the bridge of his nose just like this and then we're gonna go ahead and take this over this way go down this way and we're just gonna close this just like that I'm gonna turn it around and I'm just gonna cut off some extra just like this I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna cut off a little more right here and we're just gonna go ahead and wrap this around and then close it up so this is what he looks like with his hat on I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece of felt for his scarf and I'm just gonna cut a, a strip so we're just gonna cut that I'm gonna give this a little bit of a tug I'm gonna go ahead and pull up his beard a little and we're just gonna go ahead and wrap this around so it's just like this and I'm just gonna play around with how I want it to look I'm gonna pull this back up I'm gonna pull this out a little bit like this There we go so now I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue down through here like that I'm gonna pull this over and I'm gonna bring this one down like this so you're gonna put a little bit of hot glue down through here and we're just gonna pull this like that and I'm just gonna hold this here and I'm gonna go ahead take my scissors and cut off a little bit and now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna go ahead I'm just gonna cut off a little more so a little bit longer than I want it and I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna make little splits up through here to make the uh, ruffles of the scarf so it looks like this and this is what we have so far this is what he looks like now we're going to go ahead I am going to grab some more of that red felt so I'm just basically cutting some uh, I'm gonna cut this in half 
So now we have our little clip, our little uh, hair roller. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue here just to close that so it don't move. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. I just take it and put a little bit of hot glue right under there. Push that down. And then we're going to bend this. And I'm going to take my cutters. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut that right in the middle. And this is what we're going to use for his arm. I'm just going to go ahead and cut some more. That's not wide enough, but it's okay. That's what I got extra felt for. So if I make a mistake, I can fix it. So let's get this out the way. So we have So now what we're going to do, I'm going to turn it this way. We're going to start here, and we're just going to put a little bit of hot glue, just like this. And we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to get this dry glue off my fingers, and we're just going to go ahead, and we're going to roll it. So what I'm doing now, I'm just going ahead and rolling it just like this. So I'm going to put a little bit more hot glue, and we're just going to continue to pull and roll. So now that we're at the end, I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of hot glue to close everything. Keeping your fingers from being burnt. You don't want glue gun, hot glue gun burns because they hurt if you have never had one. So now we're going to take the extra felt that we have here and we're just going to cut that and we're going to seal it up just like this. So you're just closing it off. So this is what you should have. And we're going to go ahead and do that again. So now we have both of his arms. We can go ahead and glue them in place. And you want to glue them at an angle so that they'll be holding on to the flagpole. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue in here just to pinch to close that. So I'm just going to hold this here and let that dry and then we're going to go ahead and glue his arms in place. So let's grab some more hot glue. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue right directly on the arm and we're just going to go ahead and I'm just going to stick that right here tuck it under the scarf just like that so that's where it's at and I'm just going to hold this here and let that dry and then we're going to do the same thing to the other side about right so once again put some hot glue right on it I'm gonna go ahead stick that right here you're gonna hold that right there let that dry shouldn't take long to dry and I'm just bending the arms up a bit so now we have our gnome he's all done so we're going to go ahead and set him to the side. We're going to bring our flagpole back. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead, and this is optional. You do not have to do this step if you don't want to. So what I'm going to do is um, I found that when I'm using the fake snow, that the wood glue dries better. So I'm just going to dump a little bit of wood glue right on here just like that. And you want to use a good amount. And I'm going to go ahead and take my finger and spread this all over. If you don't want to get your fingers all dirty, you can use a paintbrush or whatever you have on hand. But for me, I don't mind getting my hands dirty. So I'm going to go in with the fake snow, uh, with the wood glue. And I'm going all the way around. 
I'm putting a nice thin layer and now I'm just going to go ahead and wrap, wipe my fingers off we're going to go ahead and grab our gnome and I'm just going to take some hot glue and we're just going to stick a good amount of hot glue right down on top on the bottom of his soles and what we're going to do is we're going to find out where we want him to be so I'm going to turn this pole just like this I'm going to stick him right here I think I'm going to go ahead and put his hands on the pole we're going to slide him right in there tuck his skirt his scarf down just like that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, I am going to grab my peach this is what I use for the tongue I use peach pink felt I, du I doubled it I'm gonna take some hot glue we're gonna stick that in here and we're just going to take these two ends, put them together. Then we're going to cut out a U shape right out of the felt. So you got a U shape, just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim it down because it's a little bit bigger than I want it. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut off a little bit. So this is what you should end up with. So I'm going to turn him around. And basically all you're going to do is you're going to stick a, pick a place that you want to stick this. So you're going to take some hot glue. You're going to put it right on the base of his tongue. And you're going to glue this in an upside down angle so I'm gonna have to try to do my best to get it so basically we're gonna pull this down a little bit so this is what I'm doing there's his tongue and I'm just holding it like this I'm just gonna hold this here and we're just gonna go ahead slide him back up to the pole and we're just gonna go ahead and stick his tongue right to it so I'm just gonna add a little bit of hot glue right on his tongue and we're just gonna go ahead push that back down and we're just gonna hold it here just like that and let that dry And there is his tongue stuck to so now his tongue is stuck let me see if I can get it his tongue is stuck to the pole so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab I'm gonna clean up a spot because we're gonna go ahead and take that fake snow and we're just gonna glue this all the way around the base of it and you want to pack that down and it's going to get messy but that's okay you could just um clean up your work sur surface and reuse this fake snow i don't mind having a little bit of a mess when i'm crafting it just means i'm, <laughs> I'm getting into my work so yeah and I'm just going, as you can see, I'm just going in and patting this down because we're going to bump off some of that snow. Otherwise, when you go to move it around, it's just going to spill all over the place. So what I'm doing now is just dumping some of it off. I'm going to go ahead, move this out of the way. So this is what we have so far. This is what he looks like.
So now what we're going to do, and this is optional, you don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to dip it in that glue and I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of that glue right on his shoe, on his coat. I'm going to put a little bit on his hat, on his pants, and I'm just going to take that snow and I'm just going to put it in different places to make it look like it was snowing on him because he is stuck to the pole. So yeah, slide him in a little bit more. So this is what we have. And you can even put snow on the pole if you want to. But I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up. And this is him stuck to the pole. So here he is from the side, from the back. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera up. In. Here we go. Here it is. Once again, from the back, there's the snow on them where it's been snowing. So, uh, yeah, that is it for this video. If you like this video, please give me a like and a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to become part of my YouTube family. And with that being said, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos. That really means a lot. And I hope you all enjoy your night. Please have a nice day. Bye.